Welcome to a demo of the AUX mode reporting dashboard. Before we show you the dashboard in action, we're going to go through the process for ingesting YouTube reports into the dashboard. The first step is to add the financial summary report, from which the dashboard will list the files that are required to correctly process and assign all the financial data. Once these are added, the dashboard will display optional files which can be uploaded that it will use to complete or override missing metadata. For example, when an asset is automatically created when a user bulk uploads videos to a channel and they don't complete the metadata before closing the upload interface, YouTube will create assets with a title beginning auto-generated, etc., which is not the title that the user will give the video when they make it public on YouTube. So these files are totally optional, and if the reports are generated satisfactorily without them, they don't need to be added. In the next step, the processor checks the integrity of the files and builds the totals from the files for us to review before creating the reports. This step is critical in identifying any errors in the data provided by YouTube. Yes, it does happen any new revenue sources that have their own custom report, so for example when short reports were added, YouTube grants, or corrections from YouTube that have no reports to allocate the revenue correctly. Once we're happy with the totals, we trigger the processing of the data into the various outputs, namely the dashboard, download reports for channels, clients, bookkeeping, etc., and errors which are typically generated when the processor cannot allocate revenue, usually because of a metadata issue, such as a missing or incorrect custom ID, asset label, etc. So we're in the upload section of the dashboard, and the first thing we're gonna do is drag and drop the YouTube payments summary file. So we'll just grab that and drop it in here. And now the dashboard gives us a list of the files it needs to process the data to generate our reports. So for example, here you can see there's some transactional revenue that's required, short revenue, etc. So any file that's required will be listed here. And at the bottom here is where we now drag and drop the files to be processed. So we'll grab the first file and we'll drop it in. The system uploads it, unzips it, and processes it. And here we can see that the file is now uploaded. So let's go and grab another file. We'll drop that one in. And again, this is actually um, an already expanded CSV, which is quite a big file. And it's uploaded that, identified it. Now we're going to grab a file that is not required, just to show that the system will ignore the file. So as you can see, there's still only two files processed, it ignored that file, so it's not possible to upload a file and uh, corrupt the data in any way. So now we're going to keep uploading the required files, and we're going to speed this bit up a bit. Um, but it just takes a few minutes to add all the files required. And once they're all there, the system automatically takes us to the next step, which lists all the required files that we've uploaded, and then below that, the optional files that we can also upload with an option to keep adding those files or process with the minimum required data. So we're going to click this button to process with the minimum required data. And now the system is starting to process that data. The dashboard is now loading all the raw data to get it ready for the data handling phase, which will then process that data to calculate the summary totals so that we can check that they're all correct. And when we're happy with the summary totals, we can then submit to the final phase which produces the data for the dashboard and also the download reports, bookkeeper reports, etc., as well as any errors in the metadata. Again, we're going to be speeding things up a little bit here. The dashboard is loading the raw data 
so it's loading in all of the files we've uploaded. It will then go into the data handling phase where it will start processing all of those files and putting all the data sets together. And from there, it will calculate the summary figures for us to compare with the raw data from YouTube. So it's now processing and giving us the totals for all the different raw revenue reports so that we can check and compare the totals. And it's showing us that we're out by just under $13. So we would typically open up uh, the original financial summary report to check on this. Um, but let's say we're happy with that figure. We know why it's out by that much. And we click to process the payment summaries. And now what we're doing is writing all of the reports for each client and also financial summary and any errors. So now we've completed processing, we click on this button and this will give us a list of the files that have been created. And the top file here, CML Raw, is the accountancy or bookkeeping file, which has all the information for every client or channel that the revenue has been allocated to and broken down, which can be used for statement purposes, uh, payment purposes. Below that, we have the error files that detail any revenue that can't be allocated, any missing identifiers, or custom IDs, etc. And we can download these and check if there's anything that needs to be tidied up in the CMS. And we can tidy those up interactively within the system and the system will also create update files so that we can upload those into the content delivery section of Studio and correct these errors in Content ID so that in future we don't have to keep making those changes. The Changes file details any changes that the processor has made to automatically fill in blanks. And then below that, we have all of the files that are available to download that have been generated for every client. These files are not automatically available. We can make them available on an individual basis or we can make them all available. This gives us an opportunity to check the files or spot check some of the files to make sure that everything's okay before we release them to the customer. Here we have an example of the revenue report and on the first tab we have the overall information broken down into the different revenue items and if applicable tax information. On the second tab we've got a detailed breakdown by custom ID in this case of every video on the channel and or associated asset broken down again by the different revenue types with the totals at the bottom. And finally, we have the country report, which is a breakdown of the revenue by country. And here we have what we call the group revenue report, where we group a number of channels or individual IDs together. So on the first page, we have an overview of all of that, again, with the tax information, if applicable. Then on the second tab, we have a breakdown by channel or by customer information if they don't have a channel and they only have assets within Content ID. On the third tab, we have the country information. And on the last tab, we have a breakdown of all the tax information.